Give me a minute and let's talk about uh, shells and shell hunger. So Peter's talking about Ukraine's shell hunger, their, their need for more artillery shells. And in his video, he's going to talk about the Czech plan that the Czechs have found a supply of artillery rounds that they can get to. And so watch that video. Uh, it's interesting. It's unfolding. I hope it works. Uh, for the from the U.S. side of things, you know, Peter in his video is at the end will say, hey, look, try to get Mike Johnson, try to get the U.S. to to do the Ukrainian aid. And and again, that's great. I don't know what's going to happen there. Right. We have a lot of political pieces moving in the U.S. And yeah, it's my job to study it. And no, I don't know what's happening uh, or what's going to happen with any kind of certainty that I could report. However, something is happening that might be more productive. The Pentagon is looking at its remaining authorization. They have drawdown authorization. They've been uh, authorized to give from U.S. stocks an amount, and they've been doing it, right? And they still have $4 billion of authorization left. And the thing is, though, that the Pentagon, up to this point, has been reluctant to uh, give. They have, they have the authority to give stuff, but they don't have money to buy replacements necessarily, right? That's a separate thing. That's what's not being voted on. And the Pentagon is sitting here like, well, you know, up till now, that you know, we, we've been willing to give the stuff to Ukraine if we know we are, in fact, going to get new ones, as Peter talks about in his video. Now they're like, well, if we give more right now, we don't have money coming in to replace it. Uh, maybe we'll get funding in the future from Congress if, you know, Congress does the right thing. But that's their problem, right? They, they're, they're not sure that it's going to work. Uh, and they're probably worried about being seen as putting Congress in a position of you need to do this. We've acted and kind of committed you to it. Um, Congress doesn't like that. And the Pentagon honestly doesn't like getting into political shenanigans uh, more than is necessary to get their budget passed. So we've got this problem. And so the Pentagon is considering giving up weapons without identifying and having the purchase order for the replacements coming in. Now, is this a problem, right? How dangerous is this for the U.S. to do? I keep coming back to look. They need, the Ukrainians need weapons that the U.S. wouldn't necessarily be using in a war, right? Ukraine needs, amongst other, you know, one of the big things you hear is 155 artillery shells. The U.S., it's, it's good to have them, right? And as I'm an old artilleryman, you know, I, I don't want to run out of ammunition. That's a big problem. But honestly, the U.S. just doesn't use that much artillery anymore, right? If we get into a war, and the most likely scenario we should be worried about is defending Taiwan, right? A Chinese invasion of Taiwan. There are no 155s involved in this. You know, we're not we're not we're not going to be supplying ground troops. Uh, we're going to be fighting a pitched naval and air battle that will use a totally different set of weapons. And even if we were in a land combat, you know, I got to tell you. When you talk about 155 rounds and, and guided anti-tank guided missiles, right? I mean, the Air Force is going to handle that, okay? The targets that they would normally be used, the Air Force is going to handle that in, in quantity. Now, yes, it's always better to have the kinds you need and, and the amounts you need. But the, I'm just saying that there's an asymmetry between what the United States would need in a conflict in the future is most likely to need the most of in the future and what the Ukrainians need now. And in that, I think the Pentagon could, and you know, that they're considering it tells you that they, they're, that it's true. And they're just trying to get comfortable with the risk and hopefully they will. And Ukraine will get some American uh, ammunition here uh, up to 4 billion worth without having to wait on Congress.